Hey, good morning. I'm Tracy Adams, and welcome to this morning's edition of The Swarm. Today is Wednesday, March 28th. And I got a promotion. I'm Leah, and at this time, please stand for the pledge, followed by a moment of quiet reflection. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's quote of the day is, you are never too old to set another goal or dream another dream by C.S. Lewis. Today's SAT word of the day is nexus, meaning a connection, tie, or link. An example of this word is, in a sentence is, Greenwich Village became a nexus for artists and writers during the 1920s. On this day in history, in 1979, the worst accident in the history of the United States begins with a pressure valve. And the, and the Unit 2 reactor at Three Mile Island failed. Cooling water contaminated with radiation drained from the, from the open valve and into the adjoining buildings. And the core began to dangerously overheat, although operators were able to handle the situation before the catastrophe. However, the reactor came within an hour of a total meltdown. And my man Tracy, did you hear that Sprayberry is hosting his first film festival ever? For, for real? Yes, my guys. We we should we should watch a video on that like right now. Yeah, promo. Hello, filmmakers and actors alike. I'm proud to announce that we'll be hosting our very first annual Sprayberry Film Festival in the very near future. It'll be open to everybody within a 20 mile radius of Sprayberry High School. It'll be twenty dollars to enter. The divisions are split up into novice and intermediate, and the top three films in each division will receive money prize rewards. We'll be posting any and all rules, criteria, information, and updates at SprayberryFilmFestival.com. So be ready, the next best film festival is coming. In 1987, Congress declared March as National Women's History Month. Thanks. Every show this month, we will showcase a key woman in women's history. Let's take a look at today's hero, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Ruth Bader Ginsburg is an Associate Justice of the United States. She is the second female to be confirmed. Ginsburg was born in Brooklyn, New York on March 15, 1933. Ginsburg attended Cornell University for her bachelor's and Harvard Law School for her law degree. President Jimmy Carter appointed Ginsburg to the U.S. Court of Appeals on April 14, 1980. She served there for 13 years up until her nomination for the Supreme Court from Bill Clinton on June 14, 1993. She took her judicial oath on August 10, 1993. She still serves on the court today. Ruth Bader Ginsburg is known for fighting for gender equality in her strong dissents. She also has a killer workout plan. Attention! All students in the junior class, your service project for the month of March is a supply drive for mostly mutts. Okay, we love animals and dogs. Animal shelter. Look for the posters around the school to see what supplies you can bring. You can drop off your supplies in the boxes outside the room store or Mrs. Wright's room, room 411. Community service hours will be awarded at 30 minutes per item, so get them in. Students remember, only SHS Tone members are permitted to bring their lunch into the Media Center office for Tone Tech Tuesday and the Wednesday Tone Book Clubs. See Ms. Axford with any questions, and now for a shirt short commercial break. Hello Sprayberry, I would like to take your time today to tell you that you can have your own personalized graduation sign. One side is $25 and for two sides is $35 with the basic high school sign and good luck at college sign as your options. Home delivery is also an option for additional fee. To get all this, go to VIPdecals.com or contact Jennifer at Jennifer Henderson at CobbKTel12.org. The Chick-fil-A Leadership Academy will be selling egg drop t-shirts during all lunches today and all of next week. Any extras will be sold at the egg drop, which is on Saturday, March 31st, 
So buy a t-shirt. They're great. Yes, we do that. If you'd like to come support both guards, attend their free showing for both performances this coming tomorrow, March 29th at 7 p.m. And now over to Quinn with STP. Good morning, Spray Bear. I'm Queen Giles, bringing you this week's episode of Student Teacher Profile. For our Teacher of the Week, we have Ms. Rao. Ms. Rao is a cosmetology teacher here at Sprayberry, and she actually became interested in the job by taking the cosmetology class here at Sprayberry. She's been at Sprayberry for three years, but outside of school, she's a mom of five and continues to practice her craft, which is hairstyling. Her favorite food is tacos, and her favorite TV show is baskets. Ms. Rowell's hidden talent is, has hidden talents such as that she can play piano by ear and that she can sing. Something people may not know about her is that her name has been in the, her classroom for 22 years. Her idol is her grandmother, and if Ms. Rowell could live anywhere, she would live in California. Next for our student of the week, we have Eduardo Rodriguez. Eduardo is a junior here at Sprayberry, but five years from now he sees himself as a mechanic. Right now he's on Sprayberry's varsity soccer team and is also involved in Hope. Eduardo is born in ATL, but if he could live in anywhere, he would live in Los Angeles. Eduardo's favorite quote is, if you're having a bad day, just know someone's out there who's having it worse. Adam by Adam22. If he could describe himself in three words, it would be thoughtful, creative, and independent. His favorite food is mole, and his favorite TV show is The Flash. He can speak in Spanish, and Eduardo loves spending time with his girlfriend, Jacqueline. And that's all for this week's student teacher profile. Have fun, and stay positive. First of all, take your hands off my man. Second of all, get your own yearbook. Avoid the drama, just get your own yearbook. And definitely get your own man. As part of her impact project, one of our leadership law and public service academy students is holding a blanket and towel drive to donate to the Atlanta Humane Society. Please bring in your gently used towels and soft blankets to the donation box outside Mrs. Lancey's room, 126. Now for a short, short commercial break. We are Sources of Strength, an organization for students, faculty, and staff. Our mission is to spread hope, help, and strength into every corner of our community. Our mission recognizes that our voice has great power and we use it to break the silence when someone is struggling and to connect them to the help they need and deserve. Sources of Strength Week will take place during March 19th through the 23rd, so look out for different events that we will be sponsoring during that time. We, we are, are Sources, Sources of Strength. We are representing Sprayberry Hosa, shout out to Coach Jefferson, starting this week during all lunches. We will be collecting donations for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. It will be a contest between grade levels, sophomores take that dub. Teachers, there will also be a competition between departments, jackets. Let's support our heroes. This is Sam. He's a kid just like us. He's always looking for adventure. He's really good at solving math problems and teaching his dog Charlie to do tricks. Well, kind of. The only thing that makes Sam any different than you and me is that he's a hero. Breath in, hold, and out. Except the bad guys Sam is up against aren't like the ones in movies. These bad guys are called cancer, and they're pretty scary. But Sam is super brave because he has parents, nurses, and doctors right by his side. Sam has a whole squad, and you might not know it, but you're on Sam's squad too. Starting this week, Sprayberry Dress Closet will be giving away free, I say again free, dresses for prom every day after school. To schedule an appointment, email thedresscloset.sprayberry at gmail.com. Y'all know you want those free prom dresses. Free. And a special shout out to Miss Trudy Rose. It's her birthday. Now over to Fizz, who's doing my old job, the weather. Fizz.
Hey guys, I'm Fizz with the weather forecast, and today will be mostly cloudy with a high of 77 and a low of 55. Tomorrow will be cloudy with a high of 71 and a low of 55. And then Friday will be partly cloudy with a high of 66 and a low of 50. Now back to Tracy and Liam. Seniors, remember to pick up your Herc Jones graduation announcements in the media center. Before we go, let's watch a quick video about prom. Congratulations to the boys varsity soccer team for smacking Alatuna 4 to 1 last night, bro. bro shout out to dubs. Okay, I love it. Bicycle kick right there, bro. We we out here getting dubs. That's all I got to say. All I got to say. Anyways, that's all we have for you today, Sprayberry. Remember teachers, all announcements must be submitted before 8 a.m. to sprayberrynews@gmail.com. Remember, Remember jackets, jackets together, together we, we swore. Let's go. Oh yeah. Together we swore. Thank you.